I'm Bob Hallmark uh, in Mod Cobb Activity and Convention Center today. There are preparations underway for an annual banquet uh, for a group that does lots of good work in conservation and ducks. And we're going to explain that uh, because this is the Delta Waterfowl Bank Banquet that they're setting up for right now. I have to talk a little bit about the history of this. We're joined now by Julio uh, Areola. 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 Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and state your position with uh, the chapter I, here. I've been a chairman for 13 years. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my 13th year. It's our 19th annual. Uh, I've been with Greater Longview Duck Waterfowl for 20 years now. Mm -hmm. And so I was, there's three founding members still left in the room. <laughs> as we got so okay. we're growing the kids up and letting them run it on now as you can see behind me right now they are setting up uh, and it's a, it's a huge setup right now explain a little bit about what uh, delta waterfowl is and what they do delta waterfowl is a canadian based waterfowl conservation that has come to texas you know 20 30 years ago they came to texas we're East Texas is the largest members uh, membership that we have out of Bismarck, out of our home quarters right, uh, that they have. And so we started this with a youth program 19 years ago due to COVID. We've been in our 20th year, but due to COVID, we're still in our 19th. Uh, we do conservation money. We keep Water Heritage Foundation money for the kids here in, in uh, Gray County. Gray County has been gracious enough to donate over a million dollars over the 19 years. So this is a inaugural year for us for that. And, and there's only two chapters in the United States that's hit this. And that's kind of the important part of the banquet too, is you're yes. recognizing that achievement here. Yes, yes. We're uh, we're possibly looking at 750 people tomorrow night. Okay. We got some big sponsors and we're ready for them. Conservation, I know, is a big part of what people recognize about Delta waterfowl. It's not, uh, it's not just creating enough ducks for people to go out and hunt. Right. Uh, it's also about protecting wetlands. And, yes. and uh, yes. also there's a, even breeding programs, yes. that sort of thing. Yes, we got some million dollar projects going in Manitoba, Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of big businesses have joined us. Uh, there's other waterfowl conservation groups out there. We partner with them now. And so it, it just helps out to try to keep the conservation for the kids going in the duck and the waterfowl, along with other other wildlife too. I mean, they're still in the field just like everybody else. Now, the purpose of the banquet uh, is obvious. Uh, you uh, you have a lot, of, a lot of people that will co come out here. And I noticed you have a lot of booths set up here mm -hmm. that are the different activities and things mm -hmm. of that nature. But I'm guessing it's also to inform everybody uh, once they're here of, you know, here's our continuing mission, and here's what we're doing now. Correct. We got uh, State Representative Jay Dean coming out tonight, uh, tomorrow night, and recognizing everybody. Uh, we, we just got a great family event. Oh, I have more kids here. We'll have almost 150 children here. So Eric, we got a lot of good things going on in the community. We, this, we have two events a year. We have our youth event in April, and we have our fall event in August. And we have to have it in August because my guys run off during hunting season, and you won't catch them till after. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. Well, continued success. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks, man. Appreciate right, you, Bob. Appreciate it. And we'll have more on the story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. Bob Holmark.